Okay, welcome back. This is part seven of my uh, personal messaging system tutorial series. And uh, in the last video, we pretty much just continued on with our reply page. We put in some checks to add a little more security. So we add some security measures and uh, yeah, so let's continue. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to physically send the message to or send the information to the database. So yeah, so we're going to say mysql underscore query and our query and the reason we're not putting it into a variable is because we don't need to um, is because we're not going to re receive information from it uh, but before we do that we also need to set up another variable called row equals mysql underscore uh, fetch underscore a sock so the same thing as before and this is going to be our query. Um, so the things we're going to get with this uh, fetch associative array um, in our row variable, what we're going to get, what we need to get, is the ID from whoever we're sending this to. Um, so whoever we're sending it to, we need to get their username as well. And uh, that's it. So, uh, so we're going to say, dollar sign db uh, well we'll say uh, to id equals uh, dollar sign row colon uh, this should be from or no uh, should be to from sending it from this person Okay, I'm going to pause the video and be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. It is from that we need, so I just had to uh, think that through a little bit. Um, so this should be from ID. And just copy and paste that from user and to user. So now we can run our query, and uh, our query should be... Uh, insert into messages uh, values and then parentheses so our first value which if we go to our uh, this which I'm going to have to type my password right here oh, oh caps lock should not be on so there we go as soon as this loads, we can go to structure. So we have to insert this information according to how it is in our table, in our database table. So each field must be in the exact spot. And since ID is an auto increment and a primary key, we want to leave that very first value blank. So we want to put in two single quotation marks and a comma and a space, and then another single quotation mark. So whoever this is whoever we're sending it to, so the to user, so this will be our to user value or variable to underscore user, and then you should have another single quotation mark. Now right here, these must where I'm putting the single quotation marks, these must be single, and these doubles that start and end the start and the end the query, these must be double quotation marks. So we have another comma right here, and then this is our to ID, and then after to we have our from so our from user which is just username because it's the current user that's logged in and the exact same thing so user ID because uh, when I register when I log my users in I automatically set these values using sessions so after that after our from user and ID we have our subject content and date so we can literally just put these as they are so dollar sign subject and then another one, so dollar sign content, and then dollar, oh, single quotation, dollar sign date. So that is the code to actually insert it into the database. So that inserts it into the database. So right here, we're just going to have our echo statement, and we're going to say your reply has been sent click here 
to return to your inbox. And we're going to change click here to a link. And this is just inbox.php right there. So our message physically sends now. So if we go back to our inbox, so we're currently logged in as uh, basic Nick, so our, our message should be sending to admin. So, uh, thanks. I guess just something simple real quick. So then we'll click reply. Your reply has been sent. Click here to return to your inbox. So if we click here, you can see that this doesn't update anything right here. So if we log out, back to our home page, and log in once again as admin, and then our password, you've logged in, inbox. Oh, look, we have this now. We have a message from Basic Nick, RE, welcome to the site. Oh, thanks. So that actually sends the message. Um, now, what you're probably thinking is, wait a minute, isn't that out of order? Because this is the most recent message. So it is, it is, it is out of order. So it's very, very simple to fix this. We simply have to go to our inbox page, and we need to, uh, actually, okay, it's still right there for outbox. Uh, we need to go to our query at the top, and we need to change, we need to add something to it. We're going to say order by ID, and then D-E-S-C, so descending. So, or order, there we go. So what this does is it orders by our ID, so we have an ID value right there, and it's going to descend the value. So that right there, it'll reverse the order of these two, so right there. So it's going to order everything by the most recent uh, sent, because the ID is auto-incremented. So that's the very most recent thing that's available. Uh, so to show you that this also works for this, we're going to reply, and we're going to say... I don't know, just something random. I don't feel like typing anything in. So you're going to hit reply. Your reply has been sent. Click here to return. And if we log out, or wrong button, sorry, and we log back in as basic Nick, we have logged in. We go to our inbox. You can see we have it's still working once again. RE, welcome. Oh no, a message, something random. Okay, so. Uh, to finish up this video, uh, what I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the outbox. Uh, so we're gonna go to our inbox page, and we're going to literally copy all of the code inside of our inbox. So we're gonna copy all of the code. We're gonna Control C. We're gonna scroll down to our outbox, which is right here, and we're gonna paste it in. Now. The one or two values we have to change are right here. This to user, we want to change this to from. So that's from user. And then if we scroll down, we can change this to outbox. So you have no messages in your outbox. And then we also want to get rid of this reply form. So we're going to get rid of this entire span reply and that div right there. So if we refresh, or save and refresh, you see we now have an outbox. So these are the messages that basic Nick has sent. So it doesn't show the reply anymore. So that successfully shows our outbox. And if you wanted, you could just copy and paste the code from the outbox we just created in the inbox file. You can place that into a separate file uh, if you want. So also you can see here that these are messages sent to this user. And these are messages from this user. So these are the messages. So every message in our outbox will say from basics Nicks because it's from it's from this account. So these will all be the same, these are all different. And the date is because the date's that. Uh, so that's the end of this tutorial series. Okay, so uh, that's the end of this tutorial series, the uh, personal messaging series. Um, and uh, or actually it's not the end, sorry. It's not the end because we still have to work on our 
or just random reply. You can just send a message to anyone you want. And also, we need to work on our delete messages. So, uh, this is not the end of the series. Um, so, I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, we will uh, probably do the just send message. Uh, so, check out the next part of the video series.